wastewater into here. And then we can send these ones across and up. Kind of over into this one. So these will just empty out that way. And let's get another airflow tile here. Our oxygen is okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for not dying. And that's all you really need at the moment, I think. We can clear this out a little bit. They can breathe. There are sections of the base where they can't breathe. You're not wrong there. But for the most part, there's, they have breathable spaces. You don't need perfect oxygen everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to hold your breath, man. All these replicants in there wanting perfect air wherever they go. Yeah, our stress is building up a little bit. I might... Turn this into like a de-stressing area a little bit. Maybe put some, uh... Oh, we can make art stuff. You don't kill creatures? No, I don't kill them because they turn stuff into coal for me. So for the most part, I'm happy with them existing. Let's have some paintings... Give me some paintings going in this area. Let's make sure that only decent people are doing this whole art thing, though. Who's our best artist? Is it Devio with four? It is. Devio, you're the only person that gets to paint. But yeah, I leave the hatches alive because they, they eat stuff and turn it into coal. And I'm like, hey, coal's pretty useful. As long as they're not eating up my food. If they start eating up my food, then I have to kill them. I'm sorry, that's just the way it goes. Uh, Alright, let's work on our power... Or I guess we could get farm tiles. We need to work on our food, we need to work on our power. So I'm going to start with power. Let's see, how do we have this thing going? One is in farm area. I should probably kill that one then. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that he was in the little farm area. Hey, this guy looks pretty good. Creativity, germ resistant, narcoleptic. I can live with that. This one also seems pretty good. Bubbles, you seem all right. Bert, you're alright because you're germ resistant, but uh, for the most part, you're not amazing. Like, you're germ resistant, but these people have better immunity than you, so... We're gonna bring Otto on board. At some point, we could rename our dudes if anybody... If anybody in the chat wants to have a, a character named after them. We can always rename somebody. We've got a few replicants that have their default name. No liquid input, no liquid output. Uh, we need to get this thing powered. So the unfortunate thing is that we need, we are going to need like a new power source at some point. I could put like a battery in another wheel for now just as a, a way of tidying us over and I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Another wheel with a battery just to keep things going. 
So I'm gonna put a wheel here. I'm gonna put a, well, I guess we can't, we don't have any big batteries. So I'm gonna put a couple tiny batteries for it. I'm gonna have this thing power the pump. And maybe I'll have it, I might break this thing off and have it power this thing as well. But I want to find this stupid little, oh, there it is. There's the hatch. Let's go beat up this hatch. Because I don't want to eat my food. Hello, hatch. Where are you, sir? Someone come do this. Nautical Hail is now following. Hey, thanks, Nautical. Appreciate it. If you'd like to have a, uh, a replicant named after you, just let me know. And I will change one of these guys. Okay, so we're building a little power supply down here. This will ju this is just tied us over for a while. Until we can get our real power station going with natural gas and whatnot down there. Uh, let's see. Where's our hatchet? Did, is he... He burrowed again. Ah. Oh. He's a crafty one. Let's send him into the water. Can we prioritize this at like a six? I want to deal with this hatch, who's been potentially eating my food. So what do we have going on here? We're working on the liquid pump, which is going to power, be powered by this new little generator down here. The, it's going to get us all our water for our bathroom, our showers. All that dirty water is gonna go over here. Algae distiller is also gonna output dirty water here once it gets going. At some point, I think we make like an airlock down here. And we start going over there. Did I knock the hatch out? Is it gone now? Is it down in the water? Because I, I really don't want to eat my food. That's all I really care about right now, is it not eating my food. Okay, so I'm going to make a weird little airlock over here. Let's see. We're going to do it on the way to the this gross area. I just want to try to get us something as a decontamination thing. Something along here. Let's tile this up just to make it easier to run through here. Let's get rid of this stuff. So we need a like a weird setup here. Let's get this going, this drop down, this here. Get this here. Another manual airlock over here. And what we're going to do is put a pump. This is kind of a stupid little airlock thing. We're going to flood this little thing with water right here. And so anybody that runs... Any, any nasty air and stuff like that, we're going to keep over here. We're not going to let it get into our base once we start digging. At least that's the goal. So this little airlock thing is going to be, this is going to be a water bridge basically. It's going to create like a, an impenetrable seal here that can't be messed with. No research task select, let's fix that up. I need, I want farm tiles because we are going to need to be making more food soon. Did 
That is for sure. This is not going to be good enough down here. CO2 should be kind of piling up down here, so maybe I'll turn this into another farm right here. Can we get this stuff going, please? Let's prioritize this a little higher, because I, I want to finish, get this thing going. Because it takes a little while to pump all the water in there to get the little, the lock going properly. Now, as far as things go, we're going to start getting nasty, polluted oxygen back in here. So probably I'm going to put a, uh... I'm going to put a deodorizer on the right side of it. I might put an electrolyzer down here because I am having... I do need more oxygen. I might just deal with an algae-based situation right now, though. I think I'm just going to put... an algae pump down here. Just for the time being. This is just going to make it easier for us to work down here. Because I don't want our people having oxygen str struggles while they're down here. That would be just... It'd be unfortunate. I'm going to build a... Uh, a... Massage table over here next to the showers. Also, and I'm going to set that to like 20%. That's just going to be to try to keep everything under control. Okay, so we need to, oh, we need to actually tell them to clear all this stuff. Let's get that priority nine down here. Go deal with this stuff, please. So we're going to make a little water lock in here. That's the goal, at least. And then we're going to attempt to start messing with all our slime. We've got a way for the slime to be processed up here. Which is good. Alright, we've got our pump. Well, it's not made yet. But it's getting close. Here, let's prioritize this thing as well. Just get some get some oxygen going down here, guys. I don't normally priority nine as much stuff as I'm doing right now, but I just want to kind of kind of get it rolling. We've got our our plumbing is working up here for our new bathroom. That's good. Our showers are working. Everybody's happy there. Let's make sure these things are actually... Yeah, these are now latrines, so they get a stress relief bonus. That's a barracks still. We do need to make a new barracks while I'm thinking about it. So we're going to make another barracks. We're going to put it right up here, I think. Some cots. Uh, something like that is fine. This is going to be a barracks. Let's deconstruct this tile. Let's put ladders up here. Okay, this is now made. So we want to put water in here and we want to auto bottle. Vote to rename oxygen not included to priority nine. Uh, vote denied roll to crit. No, that's actually, I'm fine with that. Everything's priority nine these days. That's not true either. But we do want to make a couple of these beds at higher priority. But we're just going with a priority six for that at the time being. I think that'll be sufficient. I kind of want to turn this spot into a little farmland maybe. Which I think we just researched how to make basic farms. We did. So I think I'm going to turn that into farmland. We're going to work on our uh, natural... We want to be able to make our power plant once we get into this area. Let's see. Food. 
farm tiles. Just to preserve our sanctity of this thing. I'm going to put the farm tiles above it. I'm going to put it back here because this is where a lot of our carbon dioxide is sitting. And these farm tiles are going to be used to make more mealwood. So these are going to be new mealwood things. Copy settings. Put them here. Oh, you can't do it like that. I have to actually... Yeah. I have to copy it from a same type of building. And I do want to prioritize this bottle emptying thing to like a 7. I want to make sure that they're filling this thing up. Because I need them to get through here. Where's my priorities? Priority 9 this thing. I told you that we need to make this airlock, guys, and you didn't listen to me. Okay, so for this to be considered a barracks, we need a door and a door. We also can get some art going in there to make them happy. And then oxygen, obviously, we need uh, some airflow tiles in there. Just to try to be... We want to try to be good to these people. And we don't need that many oxygen float tiles there. There we go. Something like that. Something like that will do. Priority 9! That's right, roll to crit. So the annoying thing, they're going to get upset because they're going to have soggy feet and things like that when they come over here. We're going to make sure to put this at like a break of 20 so anybody who look at it, our stress is now one percent we have de-stressed the the uh crap out of our place already but we're changing this massage table to priority so that people go to use it once they're stressed above 20 percent and that's going to just hopefully keep our stress under control as we do all this stuff we need to do the same thing for this one here enable auto bottling Priority nine. So this is a dumb little trick that I learned watching somebody's video on YouTube. I don't remember whose it was. But you make this little, like, U or V dip thing, this little joint here. And it's going to create a seal across here of water. You're going to keep your gases basically contained. They're not going to go through the water. They're not going to pass from this side to the other. And so... Nasty polluted air over here. Nice clean air over here. It's going to work out. New replicant or duplicant available. Uh, narcoleptic bladder efficiency problem. Bladder. You guys have uh, you guys have some problems. But you're all right, Nisbet. Nisbet, you're all right. Stinky, you're actually all right too, man. Hasta luego! Hey, hey, Shabard. It was good seeing you. Take it easy, man. Hope to see you again. You should, uh, hey, if you, if you have fun watching the stream, man, make sure you hit that follow button. It'll help me out. I don't think, I, I, you've been around here, but I, I don't think you followed, so. It'd be nice to see. Let's see. So, Harold. Who do we want from this group? Early bird, Harold, bladder efficiency, small, whatever. I'm taking Harold. And hey, uh, let's see. Did it did we want anybody? Somebody, Nautical Hale, you joined and you followed. Did you want to have one of these guys named after you? Did you want Harold named after you? Because we can do that. And I'll try to take care of them. There's no guarantees here. This place is dangerous. But, uh, you know, I'll try to take care of you. Hey, Wilkin Scrub, I see you in here too, man. Thanks for dropping by. I know you're not wanting to chat very much, but 
I see you, buddy. Okay, what do we have here? This is slowly working. This is doing what we want. It's got to fill up. It's going to take a little time. That's why we prioritize those pumps because we just want to make sure that they're always getting fresh water dumped in there. Do we have anyone who's now more creative than DBO? We do have Otto. Otto could be helping with art. So he's not more creative, but he is the same level of creativity. I accidentally minimized the game. I'm back. <laughs> Copy settings here. Okay, so we've got our farm stuff going. Food is all right. Is Why is this not storing anything? Just store everything in here that you can, man. Do we want... We probably want something to clean up on the way through here. So maybe a... Let's see. I think probably it'd be nice to have a sink on the way out here. Just so, I just want to keep people clean. Just want to keep them clean. Is all. So let's send this down here. And we'll need to send output dirty water somewhere. Uh, where do I want to send this dirty water? I might just dump it down here. This sink won't get used too often. Probably. I mean, it'll get used a little, but... The goal here is just to make sure that people come back and they're clean. I don't know. I don't know if it's too important or not. But I want to make sure our replicants stay clean, especially since this is going to be quite a nasty little area to go through. But I think we'll I think it'll do all right as we go through here. I'm not that concerned about contracting slime lung. I think that we're going to keep it safe in here. That's the goal, at least, is to get through here safely to get to this natural gas relay right here. At some point, I need, like, uh, insulated tiles, but I haven't researched temp uh, temperature modulation. Because it's probably pretty hot down here, and I want to just try to conserve that. And keep the cool coolness of our base going while having everything hot out here so probably at some point i'll insulate all this when we'll do it who knows but it'll, it'll happen at some point in, in the near future can we I kind of want to post this up without letting that water fall through. I could either shore up this wall or I could shore up a wall here so that I could remove this at some point and clean this up. It's not too big a deal that it exists the way it does, but, you know, cleaning it up would still be nice. And I can always just output this dirty water out here. You ever make a hamster cage for powering your uh, base? I mean, I have the hamster wheels, the manual generators around. But a hamster cage, no, I've, I've never like condensed a whole lot of people into one stage and used a lot of manual generators. I assume that's what you're talking about, like put a whole bunch of manual generators in one area. I've not tried to do that. 
I always try to use something like, find something like natural gas over here to work off of. But that actually doesn't seem terrible. You just have to use a lot of your people to run on, on power, or on the wheels to power it. I guess it'd probably build up their athleticism. So that's beneficial, right? But no, I've not I've not done that, sir. So. Uh, what do we want to work on now? We can get our. You never make it that far before you start over. Yeah, it's it's a lot of times it's like ah, I just want to start over, but I'm trying to make it further and further because I still haven't done the plastic stuff. Like I want I want to get to the phase where I can actually make plastics, make the new tubes and stuff like that. But I usually mess something up along the way that prevents that from being, you know, something that happens. So this seal is now made. So we don't need to auto bottle these things anymore. We could actually disassemble them. I'm going to dig over to natural gas. I'm also gonna dig just a, uh, something straight down here, I think, and then pump, just pump dirty water down there. Uh, let's see, I wanna just make a ladder here. And let's just, plumbing, liquid pipe, let's just send dirty water over here. Just dump it out in there. Should be fine. What's the uh, what's the highest cycle you've been to, not uh, nautical hail? My personal best is like a hundred. So I haven't been playing the game for very long. I've only been playing it for a few weeks, but I've been playing it a lot in that period. We can deconstruct these now. We don't need them. We're also going to want to put a deodorizer right over here. 70 something? Okay. okay. Yeah, that's similar. Similar levels. So what if we cancel this ladder spot, build a... We want to dig out here and then maybe make an airlock right there. Because I want to clean this area out some. Let's not put that there. We need to tile these walls to keep the nastiness under control. Clear this out. 70 something is respectable though. Like that's a I think that's a pretty good number. It takes a while to get there. You have to be doing a, a good amount of stuff right to not die before then. So I want to just wall this thing off and have a pump in there. And maybe I'll make the power station, like, right up here, actually. So, let's tile this off. Cancel that spot. Let's make a ladder that goes up here. Oh, uh, we need to keep this contained. So, let's prioritize this, actually. I want a ladder up here. And I just want to prioritize this section to be done. This is going to violate the sanctity of my airlock briefly. Are you getting sealed out? No, you got sealed out there. That's not good. 
You have oxygen though, so you guys are all right. <laughs>